hiking here in uh, Mendocino County, Lake Mendocino. And that is the town of Ukiah. Well, it's kind of more like around the corner down there to the left. And we just played a game of disc golf. There's an awesome... Spanked me at disc golf. Disc golf! What was the score? The final four, five, oh, that was five. Eight, over and you were five over? I think so. Anyway, fun game. Smack in those uh, trees is the 18-hole uh, disc golf course, just like really, really fun course through there. And so this is a reservoir, obviously, for walking on the dam. Yeah, just a perfect California sunny day here. And there's a trail that goes along here. I've actually recorded other videos around here before, just like walking and talking videos. So we're just kind of Soaking up the sun, gonna do a little stroll. Do you wanna go down along this way? So we got here, blackberries or raspberries? Blackberry. Blackberry. They are getting thick. It's actually an invasive species, but... Oh yeah? Yeah. Throughout California? It's not native to California at all? Not this oh man. This <laughs> breed. Species. And so the uh, video that I recorded showing a bunch of pictures, did you say that you saw that, that video with the photos? Because you referenced that one picture that you were, that you were in. Yeah, I kind of skimmed through it. Okay. See who was in it. The second half of it I was talking, and that was other end, north end of the lake here. Oh, with the mole cricket. What's that? The mole cricket at the beginning? Yes. Oh, that, so that wasn't a potato bug. Some people call it that. Oh, it's the same thing? Uh, well, some people call pill bugs potato bugs, and then... I, I see, there's two different things that are called potato bugs. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I always call them mole crickets. Okay. They have a nasty bite, by the way. Aha! Uh -huh. Somebody commented under that video that they were, like, terrified of potato bugs. And, like, it totally freaked them out. Remember, when... in, remember that pet tarantula we yep. had in Mr. Meyer's class? That's totally what I... You, you want to tell camera it? on? Yes. So we had this... In sixth grade, we had a pet tarantula about yay big, like a good-sized... Who, who was our teacher? Mr. Meyer. Oh, that was Mr. Meyer, Mr. okay. Meyer, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, we put a mole cricket, or potato bug, it's, it's, it's this ugly, fat, striped black and green thing with pinchers, it's about the size of my thumb. Vicious, violent little buggers. I got it, they draw blood. Wow, I didn't realize they had that bad of a bite. Yeah. So anyway, we put one in there for the tarantula over the weekend to, to nosh on. Come back in there Monday morning and the mole crickets in there all big and fat and there's eight like furry tarantula legs scattered around the beloved <laughs> That one backfired. How's the water? Looks nice. Yeah, I know it's warmish right here on the edge. All right, so uh, for people who uh, aren't familiar with Abram, he's been in previous videos. Abram and I have been friends since uh, second grade, so almost 40 years. We went to the same uh, elementary school and uh, middle school in Willits. Willits is the uh, next town north of here, and he still lives up there. And so he came down to uh, visit for um, yesterday and then stayed the night at my mom's where I'm staying. And just getting the chance to hang out. Saw him last time like a year ago. Maybe that was the time that we went hiking in the redwoods. Whoa, that's quite a ways down. <laughs> what a scene. It was so deep a few months ago you could have jumped. Seriously? This whole, oh, the whole thing. Is this like where you stopped hiking with those girls that one time, um, or you kept going a, a bit, bit further? That way. Path turned into a river. So like the water was what, like oh, six, eight feet up or like, something? Yeah. It was about this deep maybe. Okay. And everything was underwater, like all of these paths were streams. Wow. Awesome day. This is just the perfect time here in California because it is warming up, but it's not brutally hot, which it will be in another uh, month or two. It's just going to keep getting hotter and hotter into July and August, and it'll be like over 100 degree um, temperatures. That's like 40 degree temperatures are totally typical here in the summer. In which case, this is where you want to be 
Go for a swim. You were oh. from the Czech Republic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me and Hank. We rode over Sherwood from Willis and then to Mendocino Village, and that took all day. So we get there and we're like, what do we do? We didn't have any money. We didn't even, we just were like this with our bikes. Oh, you rode on the, on bicycles? Yeah, we were on, on that bikes. One. We, we nice. biked from like the town of Willits all the way out Sherwood Road, all the way through the logging roads, over the over the thing to Fort Bragg, and then all the way down the one to Mendocino Village. And it was like dusk. It's the first door we knocked on, it was like this random door, and I was just like... <laughs> So our story was we're Czechoslovakian foreign exchange Oh, you came students, up with that at the beginning. And I had pretty good English, and Hank didn't have any, so she would say something to me, and then I'd make up some gibberish. I'd be like, and he'd be like, he's trying not to bust up, you can't believe. And he's like, So no, you came up with the story because you thought it would be more sympathetic, right. like a better excuse like than we're, we're, we're too here color. in America. Like, <laughs> I see. So <laughs> I'm sitting there translating for Hank. <laughs> like making up this stuff that I don't even know if it sounds like Czech. Like I only Probably knew it. Not. I was there for like three weeks and I kept saying this one thing that they say on the subway. Uh huh. The the mustek, and then you say like Drasekadiraye. It's basically like get in or get out. The doors are closing. Oh. Like the next stop is Brno or whatever. It's like basic subway talk. So I'm just vamping on this stuff. <laughs> and then she goes, Oh, my grandson's here from Germany. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <a little> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and he comes up behind her and he's German. And he said something to me in like broken Czech. And I just chuckled and went like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I had no idea. What, what are the chances? Yeah. Oh my God. That is hilarious. But the rad thing was, and then she goes, so the house across the street, <laughs> is a I think it was a dentist and he's in his family in with his family in Europe for a month and the, and I'm take watering the plants so I tell you what like and she told us where the key was so we totally crashed this dude's house we're like and then you didn't have to do the shtick anymore you were just on your own in the house yeah, and we we're like went across the street and, it, and I guess the key was hidden there under a pot or whatever and went in there and we're I was all <laughs> like drank his beer and watch the TV and stuff. I think we left a note. <laughs> and then we just got up early the next morning and kept biking. And never saw those other people again. No. In the morning. We just I'd split. forgotten about that part. Oh, it was unbelievable. It was the first house we went to. <laughs> like with this, we didn't even plan it, really. I was just like, just follow me. You and just like, came up with this on the spot. We'll be yeah. kind of check exchange students. I was like, Man, I wonder what that dentist thought of the note. Like, what? Well, we totally, was like, there? I think we drank a couple of beers and ate a little bit of stuff. Oh, so you wanted to kind of explain we, who was there. We didn't mess anything up or steal anything. We watched the TV and then we left a note saying, like... Thanks, and yeah, we you appreciate it. Night and it was great. And yeah. We really appreciate it. <laughs> like, greetings from Czechoslovakia.